What's up y'all out here at the range having a bunch of fun with a whole day of jelly testing out here. Really nice weather out here so I'm trying to squeeze in everything I can and on this one we're still working on the new kid on the block, the 30 Super Carry. Um, I've done a couple tests already on this gel here with the 30 Super Carry, one uh, versus a 9, one versus a 380, but on this one we're going back to the 9mm with just a different kind of ammo. Let me show you what we got. Got a contraption as usual, got the chrono, got two blocks of gel. Now like I say there's, there's a few tracks in here on this first block and they actually reaching into the second one there uh these are from the nine all these are super carry nine millimeter and 380 so some pretty interesting stuff so far i'll leave some links above if y'all hadn't seen those you might want to check those out first um but the nine millimeter we did on this one the first time was the remington htp very good performance out of the 30 super carry and the nine millimeter on those so i'm hoping we get the same here and i suspect that we're going to because what we're working with today is the spear gold dot the 30 super carry 115 grain spear gold dot versus the nine millimeter 115 grain spear gold dot so this is interesting that they're actually the same weight this time uh most of the 30 super carry i've seen so far was 100 grain so i'm really interested to see what the same weights will do out of these now granted the 30 super carry is going to have more pressure but it should be an interesting test i feel like the 30 super carry is going to do a great job uh, i know the nine millimeters going to because i've tested these before out of a shorter barrel than what i'm using today so i know they're good stuff now the tools we're using again are the same exact ones we're using the m p shield ez in 30 super carry and the m p shield ez in nine millimeters so we're taking as many variables out of this as we possibly can three and a half inch barrels on both of them absolutely identical tools except for the caliber identical ammo including the weight this time so this should be very interesting what we see here but like I said, I'm expecting really good results out of both of these. Let's see if we can call a winner on this. Let me get y'all set up. Let's get started. All right, y'all, let's get us some speed and see what we're working with here. We're going to start out with the nine millimeter. We're going to do three rounds as usual through them, through both the nine and the 30 super carry. Uh, again, both of these are 115 grains. So this ought to be pretty interesting to see what we get here. Let's get it, y'all. 12, 25. 12.07 and 12.04. That's some nice nine millimeter right there, buddy. That's some nice stuff. Let's check out that average. All right, so the three round average on the Spear Gold Dot nine millimeter is 1,212 feet per second. That's some really nice speeds for a nine millimeter for sure. So this 30 Super Carry's got its, its work cut out for it on this one. Let me get this reset and let's see what that 30's moving. All right, y'all, let's check out the 30 Super Carry and see if it can match the speed on that nine. Again, uh, Spear Gold Dot 115 grain. So this should be some nice speeds out of this thing if it's loaded right. Let's see what we get, y'all. 1088, 1065, and 1037. <laughs> y'all, I'll be honest with you, I had to check after I ran that nine to make sure I hadn't mixed them up somehow. But I mean, y'all see this, the 30 super carry right there. <laughs> um it's almost like these are backwards but let me go check the average on that all right so the three round average on the 30 super carry was only 1063 feet per second and if you remember on the nine millimeter it was 1212 feet per second so you're talking about 149 149 feet per second faster from the nine millimeter standard pressure gold dot y'all that, that's kind of surprising right there i'll be honest with you so let me get this reset and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's golden jelly time we're gonna start out with this nine millimeter this stuff is rolling on hopefully it does some good stuff in the jail i feel like it's going to but i'm gonna try to keep it over to the left in front of all those other tracks without going out and smacking into my camera over there so let's see if we can get it in there y'all all right look like a nice hit it's kind of in the middle but i should have room under it let's go down there and make sure it stayed in
All right, y'all, good hit down there on that nine. That thing's got some nasty expansion, I can tell already, which I figured it was going to stop a little short and have a massive amount of expansion just because of the speeds that thing's moving at. I'm really surprised at the speeds on that. Uh, but anyway, let's check out the sturdy super carry. I got a feeling that this is probably going to expand well too just because it's gold dot, and it's probably going to get a little more penetration because it's not moving as fast. But let's see what we can do. I'm going to try to put this one right up under that other one. Ah, that one was definitely too low there, I think. Let me make sure. Let's check out and see what happened. All right, that actually stayed in the gel, but that is lower than I want to count. I feel like the uh, just the surface of that board down there, with it being so close, it probably caused it. It's turned around backwards in there, and I think that board had something to do with that. So and we're going to throw that one out. I'm going I'm to do another one. I'm going to try to put it up above that one. Here we go. <laughs> I don't think I got much higher. Let me see what happened down there. All right, that one hit a little bit higher, but to be honest, I'm still not liking that right there. I want it to go up in between where those are at in that nine. Now I'm using up all my room, but let me see if I can scoot it up just a little bit more. There we go. That was right up under that nine. That should be perfect. Let's go down there and check those out. All right, y'all, let's check out what we got going down here in the jelly. Some really interesting stuff. And to be honest with you, it's, it's pretty much what I expected after seeing those speeds. Right here, you got the nine millimeter. I'll give y'all some different views because I know this is gonna be a little bit difficult to see with the stuff behind it. But right there's the nine millimeter, huge wound channel. I mean, just very incredibly, incredibly nice wound channel. Carries out here. Now the penetration's a little bit slack than what I would like to personally see, but the expansion is incredible on this thing uh, with that kind of speed I expected it to have a little less penetration and it, it definitely traded the penetration for some massive expansion there I mean that thing has opened up huge we'll we'll uh, check it out here in just a second but up under it that's the 30 super carry that we're gonna go with now on that one also very very nice wound channel coming in uh, looks like it expanded nicely similar to the uh, HTPs we tested before and it stopped right here at 16 inches so great penetration on that round it looks like pretty good expansion on it not near the expansion as this but that being said the energy is vastly different this time on this on this gold dots between the nine and the 30 super carry uh the 30 super carry is down to 289 foot pounds of energy this gold dot nine millimeter is 375 foot pounds of energy so you're talking about around 90 more foot pounds of energy out of that nine millimeter so it traded the penetration for just pure power without a doubt now, as far as the penetration model, like I say, the nine's a little bit shorter than what I would want. It's out here at 11, on right at 11 and a half, about 11 and three eighths, we'll call it. 11 and three eighths on the nine millimeter. Uh, the 30 super carry is, like I say, it's, it's right at 16, touching the 16 inch block. And even those two on the bottom, if you'll notice, uh, those are pretty much the same, 16 inches, 15, one's 15, one's 16, but they're tumbled around backwards, but that was definitely due to the bottom there interfering with it so we'll throw those out but the good one is right at 16 inches of penetration all right y'all let's check out these projectiles look at the expansion on that gold dot nine millimeter i mean that is incredible these gold dots have really been doing some nice expansion lately uh the 10 millimeter test i did was crazy and this nine millimeter is just super super expansion on this thing uh now the 30 super carry it expanded also but you can tell obviously it's it's not expanded like it should have i'm not sure why these these rounds are so weak of uh, just just over a thousand feet per second that's pretty low for this 30 super carry this thing should be up above 1200 for sure like this nine was so it, it's almost like they switched roles here but i mean look at the expansion on that that's just absolutely incredible these are the same weight projectiles y'all that's just that's nutty right there the expansion on that now that being said it did sacrifice a little penetration to get that expansion because it was moving so fast uh, pretty much the opposite with the super carry it sacrificed expansion and got more penetration because it was moving so slow so which one is better i mean that's a 
tough call. Uh, like I said, you're looking at 90 foot pounds more energy from this nine millimeter. So in my opinion, this is another case where I would sacrifice that the few inches of penetration uh, to get this extra energy and this expansion because that's that's just nasty right there. Uh, not only that, but we, we all know, like I've mentioned before, through clothing, uh, you're going to get less expansion and more penetration anyway. So this is a nice doggone round. Now, this is no junk. Don't get me wrong, but that nine millimeter really put on a show right here. Now, typically these gold dots lose very little uh, material at all, and I don't see any, but let's check it out. Let's check out the 30 Super Carry first. So we're at 116.4 on that. So no loss there on the nine millimeter. 114.8 so it may have been a little bit of loss on the nine i can see some speckles in there so 114.8 it, it retained most of its mass but it did leave a little tiny little bit of speckles in there for sure now let's get some sizes on it right here is where there's just absolutely there's no contest there's absolutely no contest on this this nine millimeter 18.1 millimeters 17.4 and 18.3 i mean it, it basically opened up to double its size that's some nice expansion on that now the 30 super carry looking at 12.2 13.4 and 13.0 so definitely not as big as a nine i mean nothing terrible like i say that that's definitely not a bad round but you can just obviously tell it, it gave up the expansion uh and and foot pounds of energy because of the lower speed out of it so there you go on the spear gold dot nine millimeter versus 30 super carry two different tails here like i say it's it's almost like these things reverse their roles i expected the nine to be moving around a, a thousand eleven hundred and this to be over twelve hundred and it was completely the opposite and and the uh performance shows i mean with that with that fast speed this nine got some massive expansion and didn't penetrate as far but got some nice nice foot pounds of energy the 30 super carry not near as much expansion but got more penetration and less foot pounds of energy so which one would y'all choose leave me some comments down below let me know all right, y'all, there's another 9 versus 30 Super Carry test in the books. Very interesting results on this. Like I say, it was almost like these things were loaded backwards. The 9 was way hotter than the 30 Super Carry, and I expected totally the opposite. From what I've seen so far, those 30 Super Carries are moving around 1,200 feet per second out of the, the hollow points we've tested and the uh, full metal jacket. So definitely interesting to see them down below 1,100 on this test. Now, as far as the results, I know there's probably going to be people in both camps and I don't think there really is a wrong answer on this one. Uh, with that gold dot, you got a lot more foot pounds of energy. You got a lot more expansion, but you got less penetration. Now, granted, it's bare gel. So through clothing, you would get some more penetration and less expansion. Uh, on the other end, you got the 30 Super Carry. Had about 90 foot pounds less energy, had less expansion, but had more penetration and made it out to 16 inches. So what camp would you be in? Like I said, me personally, I would take the nine still because y'all know how i feel about the 30 super carry i don't think it's a bad round and i'd take either one of them if i needed to no problem at all but i i still feel that the 30 super carry is trying to fill a hole that doesn't exist i mean there's just i just don't see the need y'all know my thoughts i won't get into that ranting and raving again but um in my opinion the nine right here i'd take it all day over the 30 super carry just simply because of the more energy 90 foot pounds of energy is is a significant amount of energy but y'all let me know y'all's thoughts down in the comments which one do you think did better here which one would you prefer let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are if y'all did enjoy the video make sure you reach down hit that thumbs up make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification icon so you can get notified when i upload these new videos check out my amazon store front affiliate link down in the description if you shop through amazon go through that link first it don't cost you anything extra and anything you buy anywhere on amazon after you go through that link first i get a kickback from them towards the channel so i appreciate that check my actual affiliate links down in the description also uh, I've got these GS Extreme earbuds down there that I've been using. I really like these things. I really think they're great. I've got a few other models down there too. So check those out for some pretty big discounts versus going straight to their website. I appreciate all my Range Game members who hit the join button to support the channel. That helps out and I really thank y'all for that. I appreciate every single person who watches my videos. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave me comments down below. I really enjoy hearing what y'all have to say about these videos and I'm interested to see what you think about this test here. I'm gonna get everything set back up. I got a few more tests I want to run out here, so make sure y'all stay tuned for that. In the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.